So this morning I got online and I checked the headlines and I noticed a weird pattern. From Politico, poll, Biden leads Trump in prospective 2020 matchup. From Vox, poll, Joe Biden would beat Trump if the 2020 election were held today. From The Hill, poll, Biden leads Trump by double digits in potential 2020 matchup. From Time Magazine, Joe Biden would beat President Trump in 2020, a new poll says. And from Newsweek, Biden would destroy Trump if 2020 election happened now, a poll shows. So when I begin seeing every mainstream news outlet saying the same thing, especially when it comes to polling, it's something that's worth looking into. So I look directly into the data, which does show Joe Biden beating Trump in a potential 2020 matchup. So there's nothing to see here, right? I mean, Joe Biden clearly defeats Donald Trump in a potential 2020 matchup, and that's the story. Well, if you actually look deeper into the data and look at other poll questions, something else comes up. So on poll question 19, which is one before the Biden question, they ask, if the 2020 presidential election was held today, would you vote to re-elect President Trump or vote for the Democratic candidate? And in these results, the generic Democratic candidate actually performs 2% better than Joe Biden. And to be fair to Politico, their article does actually point this out, stating, Biden's 11-point margin is actually smaller than the poll's previous question, in which voters are asked whether they will vote to re-elect Trump or for a generic Democrat. The generic Democrat leads Trump 48% to 34%, the poll shows. So at least Politico isn't hiding the data, which would be worse. But, I mean, why is this the headline? Especially in the case of Newsweek, which says, Joe Biden would crush Donald Trump if 2020 election happened now. That is clearly trying to paint some sort of narrative that the poll results don't really show. And now compare that headline to a Newsweek article from late August, which stated, Bernie Sanders is the most popular U.S. politician, even as some blame him for Clinton's loss. And then below the actual headline is an autoplaying video, which starts off in the first second by saying, Bernie Sanders voters helped Trump win. So if Bernie tops a poll, they have to spin it so it sounds negative. But if Biden loses to a generic Democrat in a poll against Trump, they spin it so Biden sounds amazing. Now, where is Bernie in this poll? I mean, we've heard Biden's results. He did incredibly well, according to the mainstream press. So how did Bernie do? Well, he wasn't included in this poll. You know, why include the most popular politician who was a sitting senator who ran in 2016 for president. Why put him in this poll? Because they know the results would come back with Bernie on top. And there is a narrative they're trying to push. So by only including Biden in this poll, they can then push that narrative and see that, wow, look, Biden, Biden can defeat Trump by double digits. And then just, you know, ignore the fact that they didn't put anybody, any other politician in that same poll and that Biden also loses to a generic Democrat when the generic Democrat goes up against Trump. And on top of that, there actually is recent polling showing Bernie Sanders topping Joe Biden when faced off against Donald Trump. Yet as far as I saw, the only mainstream news outlet to pick up these poll results from Zogby Analytics was AOL. Okay, so how does this actually happen? Who decides what language to use to spin a certain news item so that it sounds the way they want it to sound? Well, here's a recent article from BuzzFeed News that kind of goes into this, titled, A Daily Express Journalist Accidentally Revealed How He Was Ordered to Put the Boot into Corbyn. A Daily Express news journalist writing a news story about Britain's national debt was told to, quote, put the boot into Corbyn and make it clear that labor is not the solution and what appears to be an instruction from his editor to ensure the report would be sufficiently biased against the Labour leader. Unfortunately for the reporter, he then forwarded the instructions directly to the Labour Party's press office while asking for a comment. And here's a screenshot of the email, where someone has clearly ordered the writer to put the boot into Corbyn. So while the Daily Express is sort of a right-wing news organization that we already expect this sort of spin from, this also happens just across the board. It's not just right-wing news. A lot of it is just mainstream news. People like Politico and like Newsweek that have clear instructions from the top that tell them how certain articles should be framed, or at the very least, what the headline should be. And 
Oftentimes, it's not even just orders, but it's the culture that you're surrounded in. So if you're in a culture like someone, like Politico, where it's mainstream news and you get your information from politicians and you simply report what the politicians are telling you and you don't actually dive deeper into how people around the country are feeling about certain issues, then you're going to have a certain framing that really is just boxed in by Washington and New York in terms of the elite media and the politicians in Congress. So it doesn't give you a real uh, clear idea of what's happening in the country. So when you see headlines like the ones I showed you of Biden, where they're just all the same, then do a little questioning. Look into it. Actually look into the data that they're reporting on. And sometimes you'll find that the real story isn't actually what they're reporting, but it's something else.